When a town find out there's organ harvesters living among them, a group call upon Pumpkinhead who seeks out vengeance. Now grab an organ to harvest and be careful not to get caught, this time to watch people die. After walking in on some organ harvesters in an abandoned crematorium, this unlucky man loses more than a kidney. Can't let him go. Man, you really shouldn't put yourself between a bunch of murdering organ harvesters and a pumpkin head. <laughs> Hope you didn't need that face, Junior. <laughs> Now it's Pumpkinhead's turn to do some organ harvesting. Time to send this priest to hell. No guns in the church. Does anybody here support Beans with the Fall? Why he didn't take the needle or even fight off the doctor, I have no idea, but uh, guess you're dying now. See in hell, Doc. Drugs kill. And so does Pumpkinhead. I wonder when Doc will remember he can just shoot Blondie to take down the beast. <laughs> Pumpkinhead, please. Ever since she took one meth, she's been giggling non-stop. It's so annoying. Alrighty, now for Pinhead versus Pumpkinhead. Since Pumpkinhead decided to take his time choking the guys to death, the last Resurrector crawls into the furnace, killing them both. In the end, a little 14 people die in 2006's Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes. And counting the corpses, that brings the grand total up to 39. The bronze kitchen knife for worst kill goes to the guy who took the needle to the neck. Come on, man. There's no reason that had to be the way you died. And the golden fang for best kill goes to the guy who got shish kebobbed on the roof. Be sure to let us know your favorite kill down in the comments below. And while you're down there, have you seen the movie? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. It seems like most people really don't like this installment, but I for one thought it was pretty good. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you back here again with more dead people. Have a nice day.